Hello everybody, Rebels of Cloud 9 here, and today I'm going to be doing a test on the new Tamiya Markfit Super Strong. This is a very new uh, decal solvent from Tamiya. They have, this is their third version of their uh, decal setting solution. It's for advanced users, so I don't quite qualify, but I'm a rebel, so I will use it anyway. Um, I have also, in the past, you may have seen me use the Mark Fit. This is the strong version, and the other one is just regular Mark Fit. Uh, I bought this years back when it first came out for Tamiya decals, and it, it hardly had any effect whatsoever. Um, it's more mild than I would really like. So I'm hoping that this new Super Strong is more aggressive. I'm looking forward to testing this out. I'm also going to be testing out as a side-by-side -side comparison. I'm going to be testing it out alongside the MarkFit Strong so you can see the reaction to it. And I'm going to test it with some Microsol as well, simply because this is probably the most common uh, solution that most people have in their arsenal. Uh, it's kind of the most widely used decal setting solution out there. So I'm going to test it with this as well. And I'm going to test it with Walther's Solvaset. This is aggressive stuff. This is like, I don't recommend this stuff to really anybody. It is super aggressive. If you're not careful with it, you can ruin your decal. But it's really nice when you have super stubborn decals. But again, I don't really recommend it that much. It does work, I'd say, fairly well with Tamiya. Tamiya decals are quite thick, which is kind of, again, one of the reasons why I bought this was to test it out with the, with the most aggressive decals. So, I have a few samples here. I have this uh, spare fuselage section, and all I've done is painted it green and uh, given it a gloss coat on there to help with the adhesion. I know there's a lot of debate online right now that you don't need a gloss coat for decals to remove silvering but I find that decals stick better to a gloss coat, so if you don't like it, too bad. I have four samples each here. These are some Tamiya, so we're gonna test Tamiya, so I've got four little rondelles there, and I'll place those on the model and then apply each setting solution to each one of the decals there. Uh, I also have some segments of Airfix. These are Cartograph. These are kind of a universally beloved uh, decal on the market right now. They're very easy to work with and they conform quite well. So we'll see how they react to that. And here's some Bandai. These are a bit thicker. They're kind of, they're not as thick as Tamiya, but they're, they're kind of close. Uh, here we have some Revel. These were printed by an Italian company when Revel was owned by Hobbyco. So we'll see how those react. And these are from ICM, and they are incredibly, incredibly thin. You basically don't even need a solvent with these things. They're so nice and thin. But for the purposes of this test and experiment, we're gonna go try that out anyways. So I'm gonna go and get started here. I'm just gonna dunk these in water, apply them to the fuselage, and just do my normal uh, decal process, and then we will apply our different solvents and see how they react.
Okay, we've got all the decals laid out here, and now it's time to test out these solvents. So, I'm just gonna go through one by one and uh, try the solvent out on each decal. So, let's start with some Microsol, and I'm just gonna be doing my normal application of solvents, which is to be quite liberal. Now the nice thing about this sprue, or this fuselage I should say, is that it's quite, it's quite uh, different textures on it. There's raised rivets, there's recessed rivets, there's panel lines, everything I need for seeing how they're gonna melt and conform to the to the surface. So it's a very surface texture, which is what I wanted. And there we go. Feeling. I should add a little bit more onto the Tamiya one. And clean off the brush. And it's already working, actually. I can already see it working on the Tamiya quite a bit, actually. That's impressive. So let's try the regular MarkFit Strong, which wasn't very strong in my opinion. Okay, the cartograph. I always found it worked well on cartograph. And the ICM, and these, like I mentioned earlier, they are so thin that they have, uh, they practically already conform to the surface, so. Not, not needing too much work out of them. And let's do Tamiya. Okay. And the Rebel. It's important to get around the decal because you want to get into the carrier film when you're doing this. That's really, really important. And last, Bandai. Okay. Now, I can clean off my brush. And let's try the aggressive Walther Salva set. This is the one I'm most curious about comparing the two. Is how will this new Tamiya compare to Walther's? Because this is, like I said, super aggressive stuff. You want to be really careful with this. It can damage your paint. If you're not careful, it can damage the decal. If you're not careful, so yeah, I don't I don't really recommend this stuff. And I don't own any Mark Setter or any of the any of the Mr. Hobby ones. Simply because I can never I can never find them both at the same time. I can find one or the other, yeah, but never I can, I can never find them together. So I think one's Setter and one's Softer. That's what they call it. So yeah, I don't have those to test. Lastly, on the Bandai. Okay, that was quite painless. Put the cap back on here, and the mark fit strong. This is the big one. It smells slightly more pungent than the. Than the other Mark Fit, 
but not much more. All right. And once again, this is actually... Hmm. I have to say, I'm seeing a reaction to it almost immediately. On this deckle, it kind of snug down a little bit better. Wow, that's impressive. Okay, let's try this star in the back here. And because these ICM are so thin, I want to be careful not to brush too much, let the solvent work, because I could destroy the deckle. I don't want to do that. And let's see here, how is it going to react on its own home ground of Tamiya? Let's see. This ought to be interesting. Let's see there. Actually, wow. I want to put just a little bit more on. Okay. I'm, I'm seeing, it's weird, out of all of them, the Microsol and the Tamiya, I'm, I'm seeing almost an immediate reaction out of. They're shriveling up. Hmm. So I hope this is... Is as good as I'm as it's showing promise already. Okay, a little bit on Bandai here, and there we go. Okay, that's that's all I can do now is playing the, the waiting game. Um, so far, the Microsol is doing quite well at wrinkling up as it normally does, especially here. Super wrinkly on this one. Bandai, it's conforming to the surface there. Um, the Mark Fit Strong, some wrinkling here on the cartograph. A little wrinkling on this ICM. Some good wrinkling on the Tamiya. Some mediocre wrinkling here on the Revel. And some wrinkling, normal wrinkling here on the Bandai as well. And the Walthers on the Cartograph. I'm seeing some wrinkling down in here. And some wrinkling here. Mostly rivet detail that's coming through. A uh, raised rivet detail, I should mention. Not doing too much here on the Tamiya, actually. It's kind of... I'm seeing the edges of the of the decal film. It's a bit disappointing. Uh, this one, not doing much at all. I'm not seeing any change in the Revel. And... I'm seeing it on the Bandai. I'm seeing a lot of the recessed um, panel line details coming through. And here super strong on the cartograph. There's some wrinkling in here and it's slowly conforming to the line here. And same thing over here. It's wrinkling up quite a bit. And it's starting to lay down already and showing me some of the raised rivet detail here. And here it's falling down quite nicely and settling in. And um, seems to be the same over here with the Bandai, not too much there. Very interesting. So, what I'm gonna do off screen in a little while, half an hour or so, I think I'll apply a second layer of solvent of each. That's my normal uh, process most of the time, I'll, I'll add in a second layer. I'll see how it is in about half an hour or, or an hour or so. And um, yeah, let's just come back and see what we got. everybody it's been a few hours and two coats of solvent later and I really just want to start off by saying I am 
really, really surprised. I've never done an experiment like this before using different brands of solvent and different brands of decals to see how they would react and everything. Uh, it's been incredibly enlightening to look at these and study them. And so I just want to start off with by uh, looking at the Microsol, which is not my favorite go-to solvent. I know a lot of people swear by it. I haven't had the same success as other people. Uh, so it's, like I said, it's never been my go-to. It does work, I do like it. Uh, what I like about it is it's not terribly aggressive, but it, it really does get the job done, which is excellent. Uh, looking at it here on like the, uh, on the front here of the Spitfire, you can see some of the rivet detail uh, and, and you can see it there on the top of the cowling, there's some rivet detail. And those big bolts came through. That looks pretty great. Um, pretty satisfied with that, actually. You wouldn't be able to get much of a wash out of the little rivets. But for getting the decals on nice and conforming properly, that's great. And here we have the Mark Fit Strong. And I'll be honest, this is the best I've ever had it look. It's, it actually works better than the uh, Microsol, I think, in quite a few areas. Some, a little bit of bubbling at the top there, and that's just because I didn't push down on that enough, because it's just a test. But, but looking at the rest of it there, it, it conformed quite well to the other areas, and I'm very happy with that. The Walther Solvaset is, again, the more aggressive one, and working on the cartograph, it really snugged down. Look at that. It's just, it's quite snug. Uh, we've got some rivet detailing that's showing through there. That's really impressive. Uh, and here we have the uh, Mark Fit Super Strong. Some, some bubbling here, but that's solvable. You know, that, that's not, that's nothing really bad. That's fixable. Um, really, really impressed with how these lay down. Out of all the decals, this one has the best rivet detail, and like in here, it snugged down the best. It's only here where it didn't, but again, that's again solvable. Um, the rivet detail in here, in particular, like on the top here, it almost looks painted on. It's it's really really impressive. I'm blown away by that. That is really really impressive. I, I can't get enough of that. That's exceptional. Okay, um, again, starting here, we have uh, some Microsol. Quite good on the rivet detail. Um, so a little bubbling here and there, but that's that's normal with raised rivet detail. You gotta work around that. This is quite nice, it's very flat. Again, these are the ICM decals, they were thinner. So not, they didn't need a lot. Uh, the Mark fits strong, quite a bit more bubbles in here and didn't quite snug down around the rivets. So that's a bit unfortunate. Again, this Mark Fit Strong is not doing too hot right now. Uh, and then we have the Solva Set, really, really snug. Um, didn't quite get all the, all the carrier film around the edges in some places. I think a gloss coat would definitely fix that. And you can see a pocket here where it didn't really snug down. Uh, and here we have the, again, the Mark Fit Super Strong out of the bunch. It, it's the best. It, uh, a few riv raised rivet details, again, that's to be expected, where it bubbles up a little bit, but on uh, quite a few of these, it's really, really tight on, uh, on, on shrinking around the decals there. Look at that. You can see a little pocket of air there that just needs to be stabbed and some more solvent put on there. Uh, all in all, that's really, really impressive. I'm quite blown away by this stuff. Um, didn't do, do too much for the panel line in here, which is what I was hoping. Um, so that's a bit of a downside to it, which is something that the uh, none of them really seem to have gone and fallen into um, into the panel lines. But that's usually something I'll do is I I'll cut them with a with a hobby knife later. I was just hoping for the purposes of this experiment to see. If they would fall into the into the recess panel lines automatically. All right, let's go to the next section of decals here. I'm going to save these for last. Um, let's look at the Bandai here. So 
Starting with the uh, Microsol over there. Hold on, I'm trying to get this to focus. There we go. Uh, didn't do too great on the Bandai. It got a little bit of the detail in there, but it didn't really conform around that raised lip there. Um, the Mark Fit, the Mark Fit Strong, sorry. You can see here, not too bad. Not not too bad. It, it definitely kind of got started. It did pick up some of the rivet detailing in there, but those bigger bolts, nothing nothing there it, it it's like it was trying and it just didn't quite get it um and it, and as far as like the panel line there nothing it's a bit disappointing um here we have the walters solve a set pretty good you can see here it picked up a few of the little panel uh rivets but not a lot didn't really do that great i'm sorry to see that um and the tamia Mark fit super strong. Again, not much. Uh, it, it's just, it seems like none of these solvents really reacted well with, uh, with the Bandai, which is a bit disappointing, I have to say. I was hoping for something to happen with these, but what can you do? Let's go on to the Revel ones. Here we have the Microsol. Quite good, you can see there, picked up quite a bit of the detail. This actually you lay down really nice and flat. That's quite nice, a little bubble there that can be solved. And it fell into the panel line there at the top quite well. And the lower panel line there, which is raised, uh, it fell into that really well. So that's, that's very encouraging. And that's just Microsoft, so that's great. And the Mark Fit Strong didn't do a whole lot, it's pretty it's pretty good though it did do pretty good it did get some of the panel lines in there but not all of them it did get quite a bit and there's quite a bit more bubbles compared to the rest but it, it did do a pretty good job i think out of all the decals it's done so far this is definitely the best one for the mark fit strong and here we have the walther solva set and wow it's snug it's snug it caught a lot of the rivet detail in there you can see that it's it's on there quite firm a few air bubbles here and there but yeah not too bad and this one when I looked at it blew me away honestly blew me away the mark fit super strong by far the best it's it caught a lot of the rivet detail it really snug into a lot of the the panel line uh, detail that you can see in here it just wow it it really caught it very very impressed with that and let's move on to the whole reason why I bought this solvent in the first place to see how it matches against Tamiya Tamiya's own brand of decals so here we have this is the uh, Microsol not bad Caught a lot of the raised rivet detail quite well without them poking through. A uh, couple, couple more coats in here. And again, it didn't do anything. Didn't really snug into that uh, recessed panel line there like I had hoped, unfortunately. But for Tamiya Deckles, actually did a pretty good job, I have to say. I'm quite impressed with that. Uh, and here we have the Mark Fit Strong. And here it goes down as all these rivet details in here and on the top here It hardly caught them at all. I'm a bit sad about that. I was hoping it would do a little bit better Not bad Definitely not bad. It could use a few more layers and, and a, a bit of uh, poking and prodding to get them down So it's not not reacting terribly to that, but unfortunately it could have been a little bit better um, Especially it's quite loose on like it's pretty good on these rivets here, but kind of all the rivets around it, pretty mellow. So it didn't really melt it as much as I'd hoped. And then over here we have Walther's Solva Set. This did pretty good for the most part. Again, a lot of these rivets are good. Um, panel line in the middle did not get at all, uh, but it did melt it quite a bit. And again, a few air bubbles here and there. And let's move on one more time, guys. 
Here we go, Tamiya Mark fits super strong. How does it fare against Tamiya? The best out of all the solvents, this is definitely the best. The rivet detail down here is by far, it, it looks almost painted on, look at that. Compared to the others, it's, it's just the nicest. I can see it was starting to get very faintly, it was starting to get into the panel line going down there. Um, it's very snug too, like I can't see really, I can see it on the screen, but naked eye, I can't really see much of the carrier film. It's quite snug. This is really, really impressive. I, I, I am really, really impressed. And I know that doesn't mean much to a lot of people as, as, a, as the Tamiya fanboy that I am. So uh, I just gotta say, this is, <laughs> this is really interesting. I, I'm glad to see how well it worked on their own, on their own brand of decals, so. So out of all the decals that I tried, definitely the Bandai fared the worst. They almost didn't react at all. The Revel were the most reactive. Um, as far as putting them down and seeing it, uh, a discernible change, it was, it was definitely the Revel ones. Uh, the Tamiya ones, quite noticeable too. I was, I was very impressed with those. Uh, it was very interesting to see how they took to Cartograph it definitely softened them up and laid it down better uh, and then working with the ICM uh, again uh, they're all pretty thin like I said these are the thinnest of the decals that we're gonna that I was working with today uh, really brought it all down really really made it snug so I have to say I am really glad I was able to test the mark fits strong this is something I don't think I'm gonna be using ever again and definitely not gonna ever buy the mark fit which is just the basic version because if this stuff barely works I can't really imagine what the other stuff is gonna do um, that being said I was actually expecting solve set as aggressive as it is to be kind of the victor of the day and I was I was very 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 pleased with Microsoft Man, this stuff, as, as long as I've had it, this is the most I've seen the best results out of this stuff. I get why people use this now. This is definitely, I think, gonna be my next go-to uh, solvent more now for my projects. This was great. This was really, really, really great. But, the overall shock and awe winner of the evening was super strong. Oh my gosh, guys, this was I'm just blown away by how nicely this stuff melts things. It doesn't feel hot like uh, Walther's Salva set. You can see I don't have much of this stuff left, so I was hoping to buy more. But I'm kind of thinking this might be my next go-to for more stubborn decals on a model. This is really, really nice stuff. I'm really pleased with it. Like I said, it's not hot, hot, aggressive. But it definitely is aggressive. Uh, just again, looking at these results here, I can't help but just say that this stuff fared the best out of all of them. It just, it's impressive. It's very, very impressive. I, I highly recommend this in your modeling arsenal from now on. Give it a try. Um, I know Tamiya decals are a source of great contention with modelers, including myself. Uh, I, I do believe Tamiya has improved on them over the years, but this this kind of gives me the idea of using them out of the box and not worrying about aftermarket, which I know a lot of people, including myself, will do. Uh, they're just they're pretty great. It, it they really feel and look flatter than all the others. It's it's very impressive. I am beyond delighted that I bought this and tried it out. And I hope you go out and you try this out for yourself. And um, let me know what kind of solvents you like to use. And let me know if this is something you've tried and what kind of results you've had with uh, different decals out there. I'd really love to know. 
it's always interesting to hear from people that love it and also from people who don't like it to hear why they did or didn't like it why it did or didn't work is always fun and interesting to, to learn about so that's been my little study mark fits super strong a plus in my book i love this stuff now i i can't wait to use this more honestly i i'm so impressed with the results i i hoped it would be good i didn't expect it to be this good never expected it to be this good so Give it a go. This is Rebels at Cloud 9. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you all later.